All right, um, Shalom Makim. First and foremost, I'm going to say, Call Halal Yim La Yah Bashim Al Shah Bashim Rakakodash. Double honor to my apostles today. There's a great millstone. Much peace and much love to all the brothers that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Okay, this is 2 Maccabees chapter 7. I mean, 1 Maccabees chapter 7. I'm going to start at verse, um, verse 5. Because one thing about Esau, he always, you know, him being the wicked. And us being the righteous of our people. Um, one thing he always did was set up a wicked ruler over the children of Israel in a higher position than the rest. You know, in order to throw the whole nation off and have the whole nation wicked. You know, and that's one thing that he did before and he continued to do. He set up wicked high priests, which we know the, the authority of a high priest. A high priest is supposed to be holy. But see, Esau perversed it. He turned, he set up wicked high priests, men that were a wicked. This is first Maccabees 75. There came unto him all the wicked and ungodly men of Israel, having Alcimus, who was desirous to be high priest for their captain. See, he wanted to be high priest, but he wasn't right in the spirit, man. You know? And you see how much our people are traitors, man. You know, all Israel is not of Israel. You know, and they envied and they hated Judas and his brothers. Because they was fighting against the uh, of the Romans, man. Which they they the one that's being traitors, man. Verse six, and they accused the people to the king, saying, Ju "Judas and his brethren have slain all thy friends and dri driven us out of our land. Now therefore send some man whom thou trustest, and let him go see what havoc they had with. He hath made among us and in the king's land, and he let him be pun and let him punish them with all their them that aid them." And this is, you know, showing the basic traits of our people, you know, being stiff necked and being a fucking coon. Verse eight. Then the king chose Bachads, back Chides, if I'm saying it right, Salak, if I'm saying it wrong, Salak, yeah, a friend of the king who ruled beyond the flood and was great, was a great man in the kingdom and faithful to the king. And he and him, he sent with that wicked Alcimus who had, he made high priest and commanded that he should take vengeance on of the children of Israel. So they departed and came with a great power into the land of Judea, where they sent messengers to Judas and his brethren with peaceable words deceitfully. And you see how Esau set up high priests that are fucking wicked, man. The scriptures tell you that. Because our leaders cause us to err, man. Our leaders. Esau set up wicked leaders, man. This is Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. And they that are led of them are destroyed. And that's what they do. They set up wicked leaders over us. You know, false, you know, people that people esteem. They look at them as a beacon of light. They look at them as uh, being a great person. But really, they really the wicked, man. They 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 on in the back pocket of Esau, man. Bear with me one second. Uh, so lucky. Have to get a little piece of quiet. But um, one thing that Esau do is he set up false leaders of us. They're supposed to guide us in the right way. They're supposed to be shepherds. He set up pastors. They're supposed to be real pastors, but they're not pastors. And the pastor, the word pastor basically means shepherd. Okay, let me get uh, Isaiah cha Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said Yahweh. Now, real quick, let's go to Salakia. All right, some football highlights. Okay. Okay, online etymology dictionary. Pastor. Okay, pastor. 
late 14th century, if I'm not mistaken, mid 13th century as a surname, shepherd, also spiritual guide, shepherd of souls from old French, pastor, pastor, herdsman, shepherd. From Latin, pasturum, shepherd, to lead to pasture, set to grazing, cause to eat. From pi root pa, to feed, tend, guard, protect. So a pastor is supposed to lead you in the right direction. You know, if you were the shepherd of a sheep, you lead the sheep in the right um, You lead the sheep in the right direction. You know, you take care of the sheep, you feed the sheep. You know, but see the Lord, you know, um, see, Salaki, not the Lord, but Esau set up wicked pastors, pastors that don't do what they're supposed to do, just like he set up wicked high priests. Let me see um, if, I, if the words high priest and pastor link up through the spirit. <clears throat> um, Priest. Okay. Old vulnerable. A person placed in charge. Here we go. Here's a good definition. It says from Vergur Latin, provost, one who put over others. From Latin, par, par postus, par pra post. Thus, if I'm saying it right, it's like if I'm saying it wrong, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, it says person placed in charge from past particle, um, persistible of hmm, the Old Testament sense, a translation of Hebrew, Quran, Greek, and Latin. Okay, so it's a priest, a high priest or a priest is someone that is placed in charge. One per one put over others. So what Esau did, he put a, high, a wicked high priest over our people so they would constantly be wicked now. Because like the scripture says, as the ruler of the people are, so are the people, man. If the, if the, whole, if the head is wicked, the whole body is going to be wicked. If the ruler of that city is going to be wicked, the whole people in the city are going to be wicked. And the scripture tells you that in the book of Sirach. Let's see, um. Let me read this quick and go back to it. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said Yahweh. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said Yahweh. So that, that is that. The Lord has to set up his real pastors, his real shepherds, because the ones that Esau set up are wicked, man. And that's why people are so destroyed. Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what these pastors that Esau set up, set up, they don't do that. They don't feed us with wisdom, knowledge and understanding because they working with the devil. But they don't even know it. Because Esau got them in a trick bag. I believe it's um, Sirach 10. Let me see some real quick. See if it's Sirach 10. Aha, this is um, Sirach 10 and 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of the man that ruleth? Man, the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So if the ruler is wicked, the people that, that also live in that city are going to be wicked. That's why our people are so messed up here in America, because the ruler is wicked. The whole head is wicked. You know, wickedness is at a all time high, man, just like the crime rate. Wickedness is at all time high. You know, going back to the book of First Maccabees, because the point has been proven to go there. Okay, first Maccabees chapter seven. Um verse eleven. But they gave no heed to their words, for they saw that they were come with great a great power. Then did there assemble unto Alcimus and Besias a company of scribes to require justice. Now the Assyrians 
were the first among the children of Israel that sought peace of them. So they so said they, once the, one that is a priest of the seed of Aaron is come with this army, and he will do us no wrong. See, when you have the 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 um the position of a priest under the um seed of Abram, a Aaron, which is supposed to be a, a righteous priest, not a wicked one. You're supposed to do no wrong because you are a priest, man. You are a priest of the nation of Israel. Just like being a king, you're supposed to be, it's certain guidelines, there's certain things you're supposed to do and you certain things you don't do. You got to set an example. But they trusted in this wicked priest, man, and they're going to pay for it. So he spake peace unto them peaceably and swore unto them, saying, We will procure the harm neither of you nor your friends. Whereupon they believed him, howbeit he took of them three score men and slew them in one day, according to the words which he wrote. The flesh of thy saints have they cast out, and their blood have they shed around about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. Wherefore the fear and dread of them fell upon all, all people who said, There is neither truth nor righteousness in them. Right, because they not real men of the Lord. They was wicked. They, they he's not a real priest, man. The the he went to the wrong actually not the Romans. I was gonna say the Romans. It's the Greeks. The Greeks set him up, man. You know? Seleucia's son, Demetrius, set him up to be a high priest. For they have broken the covenant and the oath they made, because that you can't trust them. After this, removed by Chias from Jerusalem and pinched his tent in Bezeth, where he sent and took many of them of the men that that have forsaken him, and certain of the people also. And when he had slain them, he cast them into the great pit. Then committed he the country to Asimus, and left with him a power to aid him. So Bachias went to the king. But Alcimus contended for the pre the high priesthood. So as you can see, hold on, I'm reading a little bit more. So um, as you can see, man. That's one thing Esau has done, he has done before, which proves that he's the devil, man. Setting up a, a, a priest, a so-called high priest that is supposed to be righteous, but ultimately he's wicked. And what what and this sounds familiar because it has happened before. Um the high priest in the time of Yahweh Shah was wicked. Because the high priest in the time of Yahweh Shai wanted him dead. I'm trying to find his name. I'm trying to find a scripture that actually has his name in it. Because he was wicked and he was against Yahweh Shai. And he wanted them dead. And this is just this this is something that has happened before. Esau set up a wicked a wicked ruler over our people. It's nothing new. Okay, let me go back to Matthew chapter twenty six. I'm gonna think I'm gonna stick here. Okay, this is Matthew chapter twenty six. I'm going to start at one. And it came to pass when Yahweh Shai had finished all these sins, he said unto his disciples, You know that ye that after two days in the feast of of part, the Passover, the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Then the symbol together the chief priests, chief priests, and the scribes, and the elders of the people, unto the palace of the high priest who was called Caphas, Caphas, and consulted that they might take Yahweh Shah by subtility and kill him. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be any uproar among the people. Now when Yahweh Shah was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But see, as you can see, the point was proven in um, verse 4. That the high priest in the time of Yahweh Shah 
in the time of y'all showers um was wicked. Now let me get to the nitty gritty. Little willing to be edifying. As you can see, Esau always put in power or put people in a, a position of authority that are not, you know, they don't know how to judge righteously because they're so full of wickedness. Verse 14, it says, not, Then when one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him in, unto you. And they commanded covenanted it covenanted it with him for 30 pieces of silver and from that time he saw opportunity to betray him okay keep going on keep going when he mentions the priest again because he was wicked well I actually already proved the point but I'm trying to put a little bit more mustard on it through the spirit you know hope is edifying I'm going to draw that verse 47. It says, And while ye yet speak, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came and said with a great multitude with swords and scales from the from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave him them a sign, whom we shall kiss the same as he told fast. Now I'm going to keep on reading. Verse 51. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh stretched forth his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote his ear off. Because this was when the wicked root went out in Israel. Remember, this is a continuation of, you know, our people being, um, we was under the Greeks, you know, and it was doing the same thing. Now we was under the Romans and they're still doing the same thing. You know, setting up wicked high priests and wicked rulers over our people. And they that had laid hold on, how shall led away, led him away to Cepheus, the high priest, which the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Peter followed afar off unto the high priest's palace and went in and sat with his servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahweh to put him to death. See, they was in a position of power and they sought to do ill, you know, put Yahweh to death for no reason. But it says, but found none. Yea, they, though many false witnesses came, yet they found not none. At the last, at the last came two false witnesses and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and saw unto him, answer is thou nothing. What it is which thou these witnesses against thee. But Yahweh Shah beheld his peace and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God that thou that thou tellest whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. I'm going to jump out of verse 65. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What forth, what further need we have need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard the, his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face and buffed him and buff, buff it at him, buffed him, and others smote him with the palms of their hands, saying, "Prophesy unto us, the thou Christ, who is he that smote thee?" Now Peter sat without in the palace, and and a damsel came unto him, saying, "Thou also wentest with Yahushua of Galilee," and he denied before them all, saying, "I know not thou sayest." So as you can see. You know, the point has clearly been proven. They sought to kill Yahweh Shai. The Lord, you know, uh, allowed this devil to do this to us, to set up wicked rulers of our people. And obviously, you know, they wasn't good rulers. They wasn't good high priests. They're not good shepherds. And, you know, Yahweh Shai is coming back to judge our people because this is something that Esau has done before. And he's continuing to do it today. And that keeps our people in the state that they're in now because the rulers are not leading us in the right place. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. Uh, the leaders of this people caused them to err. They lead us in the wrong direction. They're not shepherding us like they're supposed to. they they giving us to the wolves, man, but they don't even know it. You know? So um, with that, man, I'm going to give all praises. Call Allah, Yah, Bashmah, Shah, Bashmah, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Much peace and love to all the brothers doing their work and truth and sincerity. Shalom. I hope this lesson was edifying to the spirit. Shalom.